Right, so time to increase that Docker file vocabulary. And the way we'll do this is we'll build ourselves a web server to run as a container. What we'll do is we'll build it from a Docker file, launch it as a container, and test it. Then we'll come back to our Docker file, add some more instructions, build it again, and test it again. Then we'll come back to our Docker file again, add more instructions, build and test again. And we'll probably step through this process two or three times, adding and learning more Dockerfile instructions as we go. So first up, let's make a new directory called web in our home directory. And let's change into that. Now for a shiny new Dockerfile. So we'll start out just with a quick comment. Then we'll base it on our Ubuntu 15.04 base image that we've got locally. Okay, let's make sure our image starts out its life on the right foot with an up-to-date copy of package lists from source. Then let's install the Apache web server package. And how's about the Apache utils package too? And you know what? Maybe we want Vim as well. Now we're getting a bit convoluted here, but you'll see why in just a minute or two. So please remember, these examples are necessarily somewhat convoluted, so that we can demo different things. In the real world, sure, I probably wouldn't include the Apache Utils package, or the Vim package on a web server that I plan to run inside of a container. But this is a classroom, right? I plan to use these things to illustrate image layers in just a few minutes. Anyway, it's also a good idea to run apt get clean to get rid of any dev packages in our local aptitude cache. We're not going to be reinstalling any packages or anything like that, so we won't be needing them. If this image doesn't work, let's say it's no good, we'll just throw it away and create another one. Anyway, in order to keep containers and images lean and mean, I'd make it a best practice to always clean up the apt cache. Now for anyone watching who already knows a thing or two about what we're doing here, yeah, I know, this apt get clean won't help the way that we're writing our docker file at the moment, but we'll cycle back and show why a little later. Next up we're going to use the expose instruction to expose port 80 from our container. So this expose instruction will make sure that port 80 in any containers that spin up from this image is available to the docker host it's running on. And I make that probably our first bit of container networking. Well done. Then for a CMD instruction to start our Apache web server. And I do plan to explain why we write commands in this funny style called exec style a little bit later. But for now, just take it as it is this will start our Apache web server. Quick check for any typos and the likes. Looks okay to me. So let's go build an image from it. And we'll tag it as web server. Okay, that's going to be a minute or two. So while that builds, let me go and set up the next section where we're going to spin up a web server container and see if it works. See you there.